expect to see a lot of bubbles from Tennessee? Um, I don't know if they're going to run a lot of bubbles, but I mean, I, I definitely know they're still going to have to set the edge uh, right. uh, playing that corner when they down, when they in tray formation, uh, when the corner's going to be out there. So, like, yeah. DJ, the way this game has ended the last two years, maybe the last year especially, I mean, does that still stick with you guys at all? Definitely. Uh, knowing we lost them, I think, the last three years, um, we obviously want to win this fourth one. The way we lost last year was kind of, I think it was just a, I feel like it was bad luck. Like some just didn't go our way. I remember Jarrell catching the pass and then breaking like maybe three or four tackles and then going from like a good like 20 yard game to him fumbling and then it being, being making us lose. But I mean, we know stuff happens. So this year, hopefully we just come out with the W at the end of the game. It's going to be a four quarter game. I think the last four games in this series have been decided by 11 points total. Are y'all hearing a lot about that yeah. this week? Yeah, coach, coach talked about that at the beginning um, of our meetings this morning. He was telling us how over like the past four years, it's been a real close game. Like I said, it's came down in the fourth quarter. So we got to be ready to play a tight game and be ready to make plays when they come in the fourth quarter. We got to finish. That's the main thing. Like I know y'all watched the game last week against UMass. We went up big and then we got relaxed. So I think we just got to finish. Why do you think you guys relaxed? Because you did have a big lead and you guys weren't accustomed to yeah, some big leads? Yeah, and then I feel like most of the other games we didn't really finish either, though. So that's the main thing is just finish out what we started. I know you don't really get caught up with the individuals you're going up with, but Tennessee as a whole, their offense, like what have you seen from them? Um, Obviously, uh, they can block out on the perimeter. They got two good running backs. Um, although Alvin not playing, they still got Jalen and um, Josh. Um, at quarterback, so he like another running back. So we still got to be ready to play uh, both of them. So we just got to be physical. They they both run the ball hard. So we got to tackle, and um, everybody got to rally to the ball. How, how difficult is it facing a guy like, like Dobbs, who's I remember, just as capable of running and throwing? Um, I remember my freshman year, actually, I got a little uh, flashback with him. Mm -hmm. They put me in the game. I think it was before halftime. Um, they ran like a QB draw. And um, I remember him coming up the middle. It was just me and him. I think he. Uh, he gave me a little juke move, and he scored. So I, I still got that on my mind. So I just got to, you know, get a little get back this year, you know. Yeah. Did you, did you ever play him in high school or not? No, I didn't play Josh in high school. He went to Alpharetta. Um, yeah. I went to Walton High School. Right, right. But we, probably, we probably played him in 707. Um, I met him, actually. Uh, he spoke to us when I was in, the, um, I think it was the Rising Seniors game in Georgia that we have. Yeah, yeah. And he talked to our group. He was real humble. I like him a lot. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. What about Hurd? I mean, he's probably the biggest, one of the biggest running backs y'all face. Yeah, um, I think he ran the ball pretty well last year. Um, like I said, he a good back, 6'4", like 240. We're going to have to tackle. Yeah. I mean, just like every week we're going to have to tackle. But um, I think it's just rallying to the ball. Everybody got to be there so we can gang tackle instead of having people just have solo tackles. Yeah, hard to do against guys like him. Yeah, Minnesota. definitely, definitely. Yeah, he run the ball real hard. When you see a team that's turnover prone, does your excitement level go up a couple notches as a DB? Oh, you talking about our defense? Yeah, when you see Tennessee turns the ball over quite a bit. Oh, does your excitement level go up more? Yeah, dude, because we are trying to get the ball. <laughs> I was going to say, our defense, we, we want the ball, so if they, if they giving it to us, we're going to take it and then try to get some more. So, you know, we're just trying to get the ball. Coach always emphasizes get the ball. So this week, I think, you know, hopefully Chris makes some big plays. Hopefully I make some big plays. Hopefully the defense makes some big plays, you know. We get like six turnovers. That's what I want. Six. I want six of them. Yeah. What have you seen of them? Have you seen? Like, what have you seen? Like, how many times decision making, loose with the ball. Um, I feel like it's just football. I guess it'll be decision making. I don't know what the quarterback on their team do, but I know if he's throwing picks, that's good for us. Um, so I guess decision making and then football being football, stuff happens. I guess it's more bad on their end, so they've been turning over a lot more. So. Hopefully they keep doing that when they play against us. That'll be good for us. Yeah. Thanks, DJ. What, what do you remember from your, your game last year against Tennessee? What do I remember? Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know. That's, that's, that's was, was that the one you started? N yeah, oh, I did start that series? game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I remember, I remember um, the first series they came out. I feel like they was coming at me a little bit. Um, they knew I was in the game. They came out the first drive they scored, and then the second one, I think I was playing on the other side. We was playing cover two. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the tight end, and they threw a pass on my side and scored um, he went three verts on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I need to come out and redeem myself. I haven't played really well the last two years against Tennessee, so hopefully this will be a good time to you know come out and redeem myself, you know, make some plays, get the win. Did you practice today? Yeah, I practiced today. Okay, no lingering effects from the injuries? Anymore? No, I mean, I got injured. Um, I've been getting some treatment. Um, I feel like I'm going to be fine. I'll be fine for the game.
the offense is putting up numbers like they do, does it kind of give the defense a little bit more confidence going forward? Because I know you guys say 16 points is kind of your threshold that you hold them to. Yeah, um, they putting up points, that's good. That take a little bit of stress off the defense. But I mean, even if they're not scoring, we still got to play hard. So um, when the game comes, we're just going to have to make some stops on defense. And hopefully, I think Jake started. Hopefully, he can put the ball in the end zone and get us some more points and you know, lead us to a victory. What did you see from them, him on the sidelines when you were watching him play? What, what did he um, do? I just feel like he brought some excitement. I think Jake got a swagger about himself. Um, even though he a freshman, I feel like he come out and play like he an older player. Um, he throw the ball with confidence. And like, like I said, he got a swag. And I feel like him having a swag, you know, bring the offense, make them come alive. And you, you see the boys jumping around and getting excited. I just feel like we lacked a little bit of that on the offensive side, you know, just the energy. And, you know, I just feel like he bringing the energy, and, you know. That's getting everybody excited, so that's good, and um, I noticed that. Coach Muschamp said, I think it was on UMass's last touchdown, uh, one of the safeties was to pick up uh, the yeah, tight end. Yeah, yeah. Was that you? That or? was me. They ran. Yeah, we, we repped that in practice a lot, actually. That's why I was so mad at myself, and I think that's why he was so mad at me, because mm -hmm. I seen it a bunch. Um, yeah, they ran um, uh, three verts. They swapped at, at the, the, at the two and three. Receiver, yeah, they yeah. both swapped, and Coach told me if um, three go vert, I'm supposed to carry two. Mm -hmm. And I kind of did it, but I was too late, and the quarterback mm -hmm. threw a dime right in there, and it was right at the end zone. So, yeah, that was my fault, definitely. Yeah. Go back to Jake for a second. Did you ever play against him? He was third string in practice? Um, I think he might have been on scout. I'm not sure. I know I definitely played some against Jake. I mean, I always knew he could throw the ball. I just feel like it was, from a knowledge standpoint, he was maybe not sure. And I know I know when I was a freshman, when I didn't know something, that kind of, like, you know, took back from my play playmaking ability. Um, so. I feel like when, once he, like I said, he get, he know what he doing, I feel like he going to be fine. And I and I think Saturday, um, this last past week, he knew what he was doing. And um, y'all obviously saw him throw some uh, touchdowns. So, yeah. You talked about the emotion he kind of brings. Did you see his touchdown celebration? After I saw a little bit of it. He got to work on that. Yeah. He definitely got to work on that. We, we got to get him some, some, some. What would, some. You, what would you recommend he do after a touchdown? I don't know. He need to watch Cam Newton for some <laughs> celebration moves. That's what I feel like. Maybe, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah.